guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to the Virtuous Life starring Virtue. Anyways, I hope you guys are good. I'm so sorry I missed the video last week because I just had loads of work. And because I'm doing an extra module this semester, I thought, yeah, I can handle it. Yeah, I am handling it, but like, it means I have to like prioritize things more than others. Like, please bear with me. I still love YouTube, but like, I'm trying to get a degree at the end of this. Anyways, enough of the chit chat. This video is going to be all about why you should do engineering degree. Well, I'm so passionate about engineering degree, I don't know why I can't wait to work as an engineer, okay? It seems like, because I've been like, these pe people keep asking me these questions and I'm like, okay, that means I have to make a video about it. Like, people want to know, like, why, like, what it stands for, like, what's my passion, like, why do I care so much about this degree, why do I want to become an engineer? I'm going to answer all your questions. Anyways, let's cue my intro. Oh la la. <laughs> first thing first, I'm so excited. I'm, I seem really excited because I just had like this event for the Institution of Civil Engineer, which is like our institution. So if you know you want to get chartered, that's the institution that accredits the university. Anyways, so I had this event for t tomorrow's Engineer 2020 because like it's Engineering Week, whatever. Um, the event was like why civil engineer, and like I was a panelist as well as um three other cool, 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 very cool people. And it was just really fun to do. And so I had like a presentation explaining why I wanted to be civil engineer and all of that. Sparked the idea, I should probably film one for the YouTube video. But if you do want to watch that event, we did record it and I will link it down below. So interesting to see people from different parts, different parts of the field talk about why they chose this field, why they chose engineering, how they got there through like scholarship, to like internship, apprenticeship. Just watch it, it's really good. Anyways, this video is all about me and why I decided to do engineering. Okay. From the minute I was in the womb, I knocked on my mother's uterus and I was like, I want to build a bridge. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. No, anyways, um, to be fair, I didn't actually know I wanted to be an engineer until I was like in like year 11, which is like, so around 16. I was just like, I like physics, a cliche physics, maths and all of that, I love problem solving, but the main thing that got me is when I did um, A-level product design. And so I chose my A-level project to be like design and build a bridge. I mean, I still didn't know about civil engineering just yet, but I was like, a bridge is cool. Yeah, and I like to, I want to design and build one, like, you know, modeled one. But like, it was the fact that I was so hands-on, I was um, so hands-on, um, seeing a project from start to finish, all of these different aspects from civil engineering, from um, product design and me just loving maths and physics. I was just like, maybe I should do engineering. Actually, I went through a phase where I was thinking like, I probably should, could do um, what's called pure physics. I was thinking, mm, you know, mm, maybe not. So then I was like, I'll look engineering. I was like, which engineering should I do? I could do mechanical, mechanical seems cool. I, I was actually kind of scared that with mechanical just be mainly guys. So I was thinking, let me look more into, more engineering. And I saw acoustical electronics and I saw civil engineering. I was like, that's cool. There's bridges, there's people. That just seems like a really cool de degree. And there's like the designing aspect in there as well. I was like, yeah, okay. I'm gonna apply for civil engineering. And so I did what like most people do. I looked up like top civil engineering universities. I'm like, okay, calm. So then I went to visit Southampton because it was Southampton's right the top civil engineering um, university in the UK. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And they used my picture. Anyways, um, so I went to an open day and it wasn't because like it was a top university. When I came to the city, so when I came to the city, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the place I want to be. It was the fact that the facilities was just so well taken care of. There was a brand new campus, beautiful like engineering students. And it was just so many factors thrown in. I was like, yeah, I want to come to Southampton. This is the university for me. The vibe was just correct. And I was like, say no more. So I applied, put it to my firm. I got into Southampton, thank God. Thank you very much. Um, now I'm here, I'm on my third year degree. I'm, I'm, in, my, I'm in my third year in my degree and I'm having so much fun like, so the A-levels I took were maths and physics and product design, as I explained to you. Maths and physics definitely played a big part in first year civil engineering. And product design kicks in when you do like design projects, construction area, anything hands on. I already knew all the tools we're using. I knew like the pro, the manufacturing processes because I've done it. And so like I also feel like you could do any other A level. Like you could you could do geography. Geography plays a loads and environmental side, the, um, the coastal side, sustainability. You could do um, computer science that plays loads in like the designing software we use, the computer software we use, MATLAB, Abacus, all of that. You could also just do chemistry. We had like chemistry. Module first year, 
you could do but you can do any most a levels fit into this like i it's civil engineering or engineering in general isn't as maths intensive as people make out seem first two years there there was pretty a lot of maths there was a lot of maths in second year maths but then now in third year there's no maths modules fourth year there's no maths modules so it's just in your first half of the degree that you have to focus on the maths but like it's it's doable like you don't even yeah it's so doable i mean you do have to take maths because you know it's a requirement to get into the university but it's like if if you if you're not good at maths it's not in any way shape or form gonna like affect you majorly any tips i have for people doing so want that want to join civil engineering i'd say don't get put off by the by the the number of the lack of the lack of girls in the course or even in engineering the lack of girls i feel like if you really want to do this if you're really passionate just go for it and you'd be surprised because I was like, I was thinking, I, I, I was preparing myself like, there's not going to be a lot of girls, okay, there's not going to be a lot of girls. But then when I came to Southampton, it was actually a, a larger number of girls and our course is just so good. We had to talk so coherently. I just love the people in my course and it's just, it's just good vibes. And another thing is I like, don't get put off by how hard the degree is. Every degree is hard, man. Every degree is hard. So like you saying like, I don't want to do this engineering degree is hard, but like, okay, then, then do that psychology degree or do this other, it's still going to be hard. So like, you might as well do something that you enjoy. It's fun, but hard, man. Do the hard thing, but at least you enjoy it. So that's another thing I was going to say. And like, yeah, if you have any questions, just ask me in the comment below. But that's the main reasons why I'm so passionate. And the, passionate and like so driven with civil engineering and also the fact that when i was looking for like um in like stuff about engineering and civil engineering specific on like online and youtube i didn't find loads of it okay i found some but not loads and therefore i was like yeah i'm gonna make videos i want people to know that there's room for people here i want i want people to know what civil engineering is what it entails like, if you want have any questions ask me i am your I'm your civil engineering sister that will help and give you advice. Good advice, hopefully, um, useful advice, hopefully, but I'll give the advice and like, just like encourage people, like young people jo to join the profession. Plus during like these uncertain times of COVID and you know, the pandemic we're currently in, but like civil engineering or engineering, it's just a good field to be in because I still have my summer placement last this summer, even though most summer placements got canceled, but because highways and transport engineering is such a crucial thing. Like you do need roads, you need to maintain the roads regardless if there's a pandemic um i was still able to like work and have a really good summer placement so like this is a good field like we're really going to be made redundant or put on fur furloughed i think so it's just a great field to join it looks like i'm being sponsored by them but i'm i've never <laughs> everyone knows me i can live breathe speak about engineering all day long but i hope that answers like the questions of why like what my passion is the a levels i took um why i, I enjoy civil engineering so much if you have any questions, comment down below, but thank you. Bye.